In today's tutorial, let's do the soft stripes throw and in this throw, there are three different types of panels that we're going to do. So we're, let's cover all three of those panels right after this. Welcome back to the Crochet Crowd as well as Yarnspirations.com. I'm your host Mikey. Today is the soft stripes throw and we are going to be working on three different panels and there is a repeat of doing these panels throughout the entire afghan and I'm going to show you how to do each one of these. I also have a crochet diagram that's available for you on the crochetcrowd.com for you to be able to download in order to do this as well or you can get the more information uh, on this with the free pattern and etc. So let's begin to work on this. So let's cover our yarn first. In today's tutorial I will be using a five millimeter size H crochet hook today and Bernat Super Value yarn. You can use Karen Simply Soft if you wish and we have the instructions available for you and here is the diagrams that I did and those will be available on the Crochet Crowd. Uh, we are going to cover first the basket weave and then we're going to cover the post and shells and then the shell and popcorn and we have all this information available for you. So without further ado let's uh, cover the basket weave first. So here's an example of the basket weave and I've never done a basket weave just like this one before ever and it actually took me a little bit to get used to it because it was slightly different. So the basket weave what you're seeing here is that I honestly thought when I saw this is that all of this distance is many stitches. Usually it requires like four rows to jump to stitches like this but in actual fact it's only two and what I want to show you is here on the diagram. Now in the diagram what you're going to be seeing is that one row for example row number three these are all front post and back post trebles. Okay so they're very big stitches but on row number four everything switches back to just front post and back post double crochets. So because of that it just changes. So every time you're doing a trebles just like you see it switches. So it changes from being on the front to the back if it's that way. So for example you see here this is front post double crochets here and you're going to see that it's going to switch. Okay so it, in order to keep it in balance. So every time it jumps and it looks like it's going up underneath it's just the change of the stitches when you're going to do that. So without further ado let's uh, grab our crochet hook and let's practice. So let's grab our yarn and we only have to chain 13. It's a very thin panel. So let's uh, just put our hook in and let's chain 13. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 and 13. So there's my very first section there. So let's move on to row number 1. Row number 1 we're going to go second chain from the hook. So 1 and 2 and you're going to single crochet into that chain plus single crochet into every chain all the way back to the start. So please for this one for row number one you're single crocheting into each one of these and this is just really getting your pattern started and having a nice uh, firm edge to be able to work with. So single crochet all the way down the chain. So I've just single crocheted all the way down the chain. I'm gonna turn my chain and let's move up to row number two. So row number two this is the only time it appears so it's not part of the repeat pattern is that we're gonna double crochet ourselves across. So let's chain up three. That counts as the first half our double crochet and then we're going to double crochet in all of the rest of the stitches all the way down. So in row number two just double crochet yourself all the way down. So I've now double crocheted myself all the way down to the final. Let's turn and work and move up to row number three. So row three to six is the part of the repeat pattern. So we just have to keep repeating these, these uh, four rows over and over. So from three to six. So to start the first one we have to uh, chain three. So one, two, three and we are going to do a front post treble. Okay, into the double crochet that is existing right below. So to do that we wrap the hook first twice into the side of the post and out. Yarn over, pull through, pull through two, two and two and we want to do that once again. So do that to the next one. So front post, treble into the very next post as well. So because it is a basket weave the next two are going to be back post trebles. Wrap the hook coming from the back side Okay, out through the out through the back, yarn over, pull through, pull through two, two and two. Okay, wrap the hook again twice and go to the back for the next one is the back post trebles. So everything is working in groups of two. So you have two front posts and then you have two back posts, two front posts, two back posts. 
Okay, so the next two are front post trebles. Okay, wrap the hook twice. Okay, and then uh, back post trebles for the next two. Okay, and then front post trebles for the next two. And you'll be left with one stitch left. Okay, and then that final stitch is just a regular double crochet in the top of the turning chain. Okay, so you'll have it when you're looking at it from this point, you'll have three front loops, post, or sorry, front posts that you can look at, and then two back posts. Let's turn our work, and this is where you don't want to get confused on this pattern. Let's turn our work and move up to row number four. So in row number four, we want to chain two only. And the first one here, do you see that? this front post, it's on the front this side, but when you turn it, in order to keep that, these lines going in the same consistency, we have to then um, go at the post from the side to keep it going a little bit longer. So what I mean by that is that the first two here are back post trebles. So we wrap the hook and we come in from the back, okay, do that from the back post. And these are just double crochets, the back post double crochets. Okay, so and then the next two are front post double crochets. See how they're kind of already on the front already? You're maintaining that so that it carries up like a rib like it would be on like a brim of a hat. Okay, so do you see that there? So it just carries that up and same with the other side. So the next one is a back post double crochet and same with the next one. Okay, and the next ones are in the front post. I had a real hard time when I did a sample of this to wrap my head around one row being trebles and the other row being doubles. And that was kind of my struggle. Okay, and on the very end you are going to put in, um, what do we have here? We are going to put in a half double crochet right into the turning chain. Okay. So do you see how that's working? Just like this. So let's turn to work and begin and we're gonna do number five next. So on the diagram it says five dash switch. And what that switch means is that we're now going to change what you see here to be opposite. So you see that these are front posts, they're in the front. We're now going to switch it so they become back posts this time. So this time when we chain up, we're going to chain up three, so one, two, three and the first ones here are going to be back post um, trebles. Okay, so just wrap and we're going to come in from the back. Okay, so the last time what we did is that we kind of maintained if it was in the front we came in from the front but this time we're switching it. So this time we're coming in from the back to give the illusion that um, the basket weave is sinking. So the first two are our back post uh, trebles there. So the next two are in the back now and we're gonna switch those and bring those forward. So we wrap the hook twice and access them to bring them forward with a front post treble. Okay, the next ones are in the front right now. We wanna switch those to the back so we access them from the back for the back post treble. Do those two. Okay, and we just keep going. The next two are in the front because we're doing the switch. So you're just doing exactly what's opposite to what you're seeing in order to keep that basket weave illusion going. Okay, the next two are in the front so we're gonna access them from the back to pull them back. And then the final turning chain, we're going to apply one double crochet just like that. So do you see that? So we kind of, we had them in the front and now we did opposite so we switched it. So then this one here that was in the back now jumps forward. Let's turn our work and go for row number six. 
Let's turn our work and go for row number six. So row number six are back to the being double crochets again. So we chain up two, one and two and we match exactly what is already there. So these are in the front and these are in the back. So this time we just do front post doubles and just match exactly what you see. Okay and then we come and do the next one there from the back. And then next ones are in the front. Okay, next ones are in the back. So when we go to start back up with row number three, once again we are going to be doing a switch. Okay, so the very final stitch is going to be a half double crochet in the turning chain. Okay, so let's uh, turn our work and go for row number three. In row number three we do the switch once again. So back to row number three we are going to chain up three, one, two, three. So what you see here okay is going to be opposite this time and so it's going to be front post trebles. See they don't ever stay on the one side for very long. The next side's back post trebles. We're gonna switch those. So if you can wrap in your mind the, about the half double crochet or sorry the double crochet and the trebles um, you can actually be very successful in doing this pattern pretty quickly. It's just a matter of you know training yourself to know that you have to switch every two every other two rows and just keeping it consistent. Usually every time I've done basket weave it's always been at least four rows before I've done the switch and so this was one of my kind of hang ups when I did it. So this is repeating row number three which we've already done before. So this is one of those easy ones you just gotta look at the pattern just maintain it and just look and if you're screwing up you're gonna know instantly because one of the basket weaves will appear bigger than the other and uh, then you know that it's out of alignment. So this would be how to do the basket weave panel. You wanna make it to the dimensions that it says on the pattern and uh, this is one of those uh, key ideas in order to make the idea. So remember it's a double crochet right into the turning. So this is the basket weave panel just like this. Let's move along to post and shell next. So here is the post and shells just like you see. You see a beautiful rib that is coming in the front. You see the shell work on the back side it looks completely flat. It's got a really different kind of look on the back but you're looking for this kind of effect on the front. So we're gonna be playing with the back and the front posts again and doing shells this time in order to maintain it. So let's uh, just take a look at the diagram and just go from there. So post and shells just what we see here it's repeatings of row number three and four once we get started and you can see it's a really just a quick idea. It's just a matter of just being able to know what is front and which back. Once you get started it's gonna be obvious and the shells are quite easy to do. So let's get started on post and shell and let's grab our yarn and it's the same hook a size five millimeter size H. So let's grab our yarn and let's chain 22. So it takes 22 for this one. And just yarn over. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, and 22. So there is your first string or your first chain. Let's begin row number one. In row number one we're gonna go second chain from the hook. So count back one, go to the second and I need you to single crochet into each one of the chains all the way back to the very start. So row number one, single crochet all the way back. So I'm coming up all the way near to the end and I single crochet right into the final chain like so. So that was row number one. So let's turn our work and go for row number two. Row number two on the outside so there's going to be two double crochets that stand beside each other and on the middles there will only be one in between all of the shell. So let's uh, begin. We're going to chain three. So one, two, three that counts as the first double crochet and you wanna double crochet into the next stitch as well. So you're going to do the shell work now. So you're going to skip over two stitches, one and two, go to the third one over and I want you to put in five double crochets into that spot. So one, two, three, 
four and five. Skipping over to the third stitch. So skip over two and go to the third and it will be a double crochet. Skipping over two and going to the third do another group of five double crochets into the same stitch. So this is two, three, four and five. Skipping over two going to the third for a double crochet. Skip over two and going to the third for five more double crochets. So one, two, three, four and five just like this. Skip over two, go to the third one over and it is a double crochet and you're going to double crochet into the final stitch as well. Okay, so that was row number two. Okay, so this is the only time you're going to do this without doing any back posts or front posts. So this was just to get started and now we're going to just start with repeating of rows three and four. So let's begin to do number three next. Let's turn our work and go for number three. So we're going to chain up two, one and two and now we're going to start doing the back and the front posts when it comes to this. But in this particular row what we're gonna concentrate is doing back posts only. So then very next double crochet it's going to be a back post double crochet like so. So just immediately just do it and you're going to chain two, one and two, come to the middle one of the group of five and single crochet in the top one of that one, chain two, and you're going to do a back post double crochet around this next double crochet that's standing by itself. This is what this is doing is creating the ribs on the other side of your project. Okay, you're going to chain two, single crochet into the middle one of the group of five, chain two, back post double crochet around the next double crochet that's standing by itself, chain two, single crochet into the middle one of the group of five and you're coming up to the very edge here. So you're going to chain two. The first one will be a back post double crochet and the last one will be just a half double crochet into the turning chain like so. Okay, so that was number three. So you'll have to do this over and over and over when you're doing number three. Let's so turn and work and begin number four. So you're going to notice that the ribbing is just started to take effect. So whenever you're starting number four this is what you're going to do. You're going to chain three, one, two, three and this time you want to maintain the ribs on the on this side of the work. So anytime you're looking at it and the ribs are popping out at you just remember that it will be a front post tra a double crochet. So you do it from a front post this time to keep that rib on this side. Now in here this single crochet is going to be the next five double crochets. So one, two, three, four and five. Okay and then you're gonna front post double crochet the next one that's sitting by itself to keep that ribbing effect going. Okay jump to the next one that's in the middle and there will be another five double crochets that go there. So one, two, three, four, and, f and five and then you're gonna front post double crochet into the next one. Okay, you're gonna go for the very last one. So the one right in the middle, the single crochet will have five double crochets in there. And then finally we have the last two stitches. So the first one will be a front post double crochet and then the last one here will be um, what do we got there? Where those will be a double crochet into the turning chain like so. Okay, so do you see that we're carrying that ribbing and we're making that ribbing going? So if you turn the work there will be really nothing on the other side. So we're gonna start up and let's do row number three once again. So remember when we do number three we chain two. Now the ribbing as you can see is on this side so we want to maintain that. So the first one is a front post double crochet or sorry it's a back post double crochet to keep that ribbing on the other side. We chain two, 
come to the middle one of the five single crochet, chain two. Okay, here's the next stand alone by itself coming in from the back, back post double crochet, chain two, middle one of the five is a single crochet, chain two, middle one that stands by itself is a back post double crochet, chain two and then single crochet in the top, chain two. The, there's two left, the first one is a back post double crochet and the next one is simply just a half double crochet like so. So that was row number three repeat. So turn the work. You can see that there's even more ribbing now and so just remember that when we go to start up the next one we're gonna chain three. One, two, three. This is number four again. See how the ribbing is on the front side. The first one is a front post double crochet to maintain that. Okay, the next one right here in the middle is five double crochets. So one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so you wanna maintain the ribbing. So the next one is a front post double crochet. Okay, and the next one is the five right in the middle. So one, two, three, four, and five. Maintain that ribbing with the front post double crochet. One right in the middle again. It's five double crochets. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay, and you got two left. The next one is a front post double crochet to keep that ribbon going and then the final one is just a double crochet right in the end. So you just keep repeating rows number three and four in order to get the look just like you see here. Really quite easy and it's a really no brainer once you get started. So let's move on to doing shell and popcorn and that one's a really neat one as well. So the very last panel is a shell and popcorn just like you see here. So it's got a raised back. It reminds me of a backbone of a reptile or even a backbone of a human. It's got some points coming out. It's flat on the back side here but on the front side it's got some really interesting work going on and this is as wide as it gets and I'm gonna show you this one next. So back to the diagram. This one is a really quick one here. In one row we're doing the shells and it's a open shell. So it's double crochet, chain one, double crochet, chain one, double crochet and then the next row we're doing all of these chains and then we're doing the popcorn that is creating that, that beautiful popcorn stitch. So um, let's begin and by the way I have misspelled popcorn and I just noticed that for the very first time. <laughs> Holy jeez. So let's uh, begin. So let's begin. We're going to create a slip knot and for this one we need to chain 18 to begin. So let's do that. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, and eighteen. So there is my first and let's move on to row number one. Row number one we're gonna count back second chain from the hook. So one and two turn it over and I want you to single crochet into that chain and I want you to single crochet yourself all the way back to the end. Okay, so single crochet yourself all the way down the line for row number one. So I've crocheted myself all the way down. It's a small little panel. We wanna turn our work and go for row number two. So I want you to chain one and single crochet into the first one and we're going to start doing the shell work. So we're going to chain one just like this and I want you to skip over three next stitches and go to the fourth and we're gonna do the open shell. So we're gonna do a double crochet into the fourth one over followed by a chain one, double crochet back into that same stitch followed by a chain one and double crochet back into that same stitch. Like so. Chain one and I want you to skip over. Okay, so skip over three and go to the fourth for a single crochet. And because it's such a small panel I'll show you again. So chain one, skipping over three, one, two, three, go to the fourth and do an open shell. So double crochet, chain one, double crochet in, chain one, double crochet in. Okay, 
chain one and then just go to the very last stitch because that's the right number and just single crochet in. So that was row number two. So if you're establishing the work now. So let's begin row number three. So row number three we're gonna turn our work and this time we need to chain six. So this chaining of six counts as a double crochet slash chain three. So just chain six. So one, two, three. Okay, so there's your double crochet. Four, five, six. This is your chain three and it will make sense in a bit. And what you need to do is that you need to single crochet into the middle one of the three that you see right here. Just jump over. So if I was to force it like this, you would see that it's going up for a double crochet and then over for a chain three. You're going to chain three, one, two, and three, and now we're going to do a popcorn right into the middle of this double, uh, single crochet. To do that, what you have to do is that you have to double crochet five times into that same stitch. Okay, so just go in there and do five. Okay, and it's gonna make sense in just a minute. So now that I got my five in, what I want to do is just pinch, drop the loop out, go into the first stitch, just slide it right into the top of the first stitch, like so, re-grab that loop and pull through, just like that. And then we have to chain three. So one, two, and three, and we come in and we single crochet to the middle one of this grouping of three over here. We're going to chain three again. So one, two, and three and we double crochet into the final cha uh, single crochet over here. Okay. So do you see what just happened there? Okay. So let's turn our work and let's go for number four. Turning our work going for number four. So number four is always the same. So we're going to chain up one single crochet into the very first one there. Chain, okay, single crochet, chain one and coming into where it's single crocheted here put another open shell there. So it's just a double crochet, chain one, double crochet, chain one and double crochet. Complete it with a chain one and what you need to do then is that in the top of this popcorn here just put one single crochet in chain one and then just start with another open shell over here with the next single crochet. So just double crochet one, chain one, double crochet again, chain one and double crochet again. Followed by a chain one and this is that chaining of six so you have to count to the third one. So one, two and three. So going into the third one do a single crochet. See how that just made it balanced? So when you go to turn your work you're going to repeat and do number three again which will be a popcorn and let me show you that one more time. So to be chaining a six. So one, two, three, four, five and six. Okay, you come into the middle of the open shell and just the top one just single crochet. Chaining a three, one, two, three. We do a popcorn right in this one right in the middle here. And remember there is five double crochets that make that up. So we're gonna put five in there. Okay. Once you get your five pinch, release, going to the first one, just put the back on the hook, pull through and then chain three. So one, two and three, single crochet into the middle one of the next open shell chain three, one, two, three and double crochet into the final single crochet. See this is actually a really simple one. It looks a lot more complicated than it is and uh, you have a really beautiful um, kind of cable kind of look to it and it's a really kind of neat. So this concludes on how to do all three of the panels for the soft stripes throw and hopefully you enjoy this pattern and uh, it's really quite an easy one when you do it in strips and it's great for hot weather and all of those kind of projects where you really don't want to have an afghan sitting on top of you at the same time. So until next time I'm Mikey on behalf of the Crochet Crowd as well as Yarnspirations.com. We'll see ya. Bye bye.